All right, we got one here in Salisbury, Maryland at a church. Customer said the breaker tripped, but when he turned it back on, it didn't come back on. So let's check it out and see what's going on. All right, the first thing I always say is when you walk up on a unit that's not running, does it have power? So let's see. Let's test here and here. Nope, we don't have power. Nope. No. Okay, so we have an, a disconnect breaker here. And it's tripped. Alright, let's turn it off. Wow, that is, thing is hard to push. Right, let's turn it off. Now, I know from experience on these York rooftop units, this, they call this the Predator line, the York Predator rooftop unit. The condenser, watch out for that wasp. The condenser motor wires, look at that, I was right. These condenser motor wires always fall down and then the blade runs into them, chops them in half, and trips the breaker. I've probably done this to countless York Predator units where I've seen this happen to. And when it happens, I do my best to repair the wires and secure them. So we're going to not turn this breaker back on yet. We're gonna pull this cover off and we're gonna see what the extent of this damage is. Like that looks pretty shitty there too. Let's get these let's get these fan guards off. Let's see what the extent of the damage is. We got our covers off here, our fan guards. You can see the blade got caught up in these wires. Oh, whoa, we got a wasp up there. <laughs> we might have a nest of them. When I started pulling that wire, he flew out of there and hit me in the arm. He didn't sting me. Any more of your buddies in there? I hope not. You guys tell me. Any more in there? Alright, I'm going back in. All right, so, all right, here's where our breaker trip came from. Right there. And it, it pulled this out of this motor, so it pulled the, the plug right out of the motor, which is supposed to snap in there. So hopefully we can get that back in there. Get these wires repaired and get them fastened back like they should be. All right, let's see, the wiring for this motor is still intact though. I can, I'm gonna probably put a couple zip ties on it to, to make sure this doesn't happen to this one, but um, we're going to get this sorted out. Try to make sure it doesn't happen again. That's the guy that I just evicted. He doesn't look happy. The motor, the motor still seems like it spins free. Uh, this motor's hitting some. Oh, our blade. Our blade is bent. If I can straighten that back out. This motor might be cooked. We're gonna get it wired back up like it should and see. I'm, I think I might even have one of them blades on the truck if I can even get that off there. Let's fix the wires first and see what happens. All right, so I got the harness pulled out of there. It looks like it chopped the black wire completely in half. 
and it really did a number on the yellow wire. So I'll try to get this fixed and rerouted in a way where it makes more sense. What I might do is instead of coming over top of these fan brackets, I might go underneath of them and fasten them so they're well below the fan blades. So we might not have a issue of this happening again. All right, so we got these connectors here, these uh, splice connectors and some zip ties. And we're gonna try to repair this wire here, or both the wires. I think we should be good. I think this, I've inspected the wire. And I think this is our only two damaged parts. So I'm gonna cut the bad parts out and um, splice them together. We're gonna get it zip tied together and then we're gonna try to start this unit and see what happens. All right, we got our connectors on. We got our wires spliced back together. Let's make sure everything's good and tight. It's not gonna pop back off. Good and tight. Got things landing on me. Those wasps got me on edge. But uh, the brown wire does not look like it was damaged at all. So we're not going to mess with that one at all. Alright, let's try to put this back on. Alright, I got everything back on. Got the wires zip tied, fastened in place now. Let me show you this though. This plug here will not snap back into the motor wiring is just hanging out of it so I think I'm gonna have to replace this motor anyway but I can't get that snapped in there I'm at least gonna turn it on just to see if it runs but when the when the blade caught the, the wires it just ripped it right out of there surprisingly it didn't rip the wires out it just ripped the ripped the plug out and um seems like it should go back in there but I've tried for the past 10 minutes to try to get that snapped in there and it just won't go in so uh, I'm gonna do my best to fasten it the best I can right here so at least it won't wobble and we're gonna test the unit out I got the wiring tucked up in here and zip tied so it runs across there now and doesn't come into contact with any of the fan blades. So, all right, we're gonna turn this thing on. Oh, I still got some couple zip ties to put on right here, but I'm gonna turn this thing on and see if it works. All right, we're gonna try to turn this thing back on and see what happens. So you guys stay there, watch the fans while I go turn it on and I'm gonna push in the condenser motor contactor and we'll see what happens. Looks like they both work, but yeah, that blade right there is surely seen better days. The motor too, so we're gonna get it turned back on and turn on the air conditioning, and we're gonna have to get a new motor and a new blade for this thing. So we've got uh, Y1, G, Y2, and then I brought them all down to R. We're gonna turn it on. Y1 being first stage cooling, G being our fan, Y2 being our second stage of cooling, and R being our 24 volt low voltage power. So we're gonna turn the unit on now at 100% uh, and see how it does. We're working on, we'll probably have a five minute delay to bring on first and second stage cooling. stage of cooling running now, the first stage, and there goes the second stage. Our condenser motors are working.
like we got to get him a motor and a blade, but at least we got him back up and running. All right, she's been running for a little while now. I got the fan guards back on. It seems like it's working, so. There's actually four units that do this, this space. This is actually the youth building of this church. So we have one, two, three, four. These three units are newer than this one. When they remodeled this space, they kept this unit here, but they replaced these three. Looks like that was done in 2016. And the main church, which they actually just built a huge addition on, is over there. And you see all those units up there. They're part of the original church, but the taller section there, they just finished building. They've been open for a few months now. Um, a new sanctuary they built and they got a bunch of new units over there now too and also in this same complex all those units over there do a gym that we also service so we have this complex pretty much locked in I work on just about every unit on all these roofs here so. A nice little contract for us keeps us busy all right well i hope you liked that quick little repair video if you did please like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this all right guys i'm off to the next one see you